Hello and welcome back to Partnerships for Smarter Security, where we're exploring a range of issues around cybersecurity, business resilience, and collaboration across the industry. I'm joined for this segment by Arun Krishnamurthy, Senior Director of Product Management for Cybersecurity Services at Dell Technologies. And we're going to delve into detection and response and specifically the role of professional services in combating adversaries such as organized criminals and nation states. Arun, welcome back to theCUBE. Good to see you. Thank you, Dave. Great to be with you again. Yeah, last time, uh, as you recall, we talked about uh, managed detection and response, your strategy there, your plans to deliver choices for customers. That's a big theme of Dell's and flexibility. We talked about SecureWorks. You got your partnership with CrowdStrike. Uh, Microsoft, I wonder if you could just update us what's transpired since that time. Dave, lots transpired, lots of exciting stuff, but the most important part of our program that I want to report to you first is uh, we have hundreds of customers whose environments we are securing. Uh, we recently worked with a very large universal system with the CISO. We are now securing about 37,000 endpoints. This customer was interested in Microsoft because they've invested in the E3, E5 licensing model with Microsoft, but they really needed help for somebody like Dell to come in and, and get the full value of their investments with Microsoft. So not only are we doing the detection response component with Microsoft Defender, Microsoft Central with this customer, uh, but there was a ton of other consulting effort we did to get the customer ready uh, to consume the service. So lots of exciting stuff going on. Uh, we are definitely executing on our strategy. Uh, there are two key pillars to our kind of program. One was we want to make sure that customers have a consistent cyber resiliency experience, regardless of whether they have workloads in the data center, edge, or cloud. And the second position is obviously we wanted to uh, really grow ourselves as a market leader so we have kind of executed on, on both ends. A couple of other interesting things I want to report back to you since we last spoke. We are starting to get some industry accolades with the analysts. The analysts are generally surprised. Dell's have a really robust security, cybersecurity services and strategy. So we are working with that AR team uh, and our analysts. We have also picked up a few accolades along the way. Uh, CrowdStrike recently at their Falcon conference last week called us the breakout partner of the year, mainly because we have done a ton of integration work with them, which I'll talk to you in a little bit. Tenable called us the MSSP of the year. Same thing, they see a great partnership with Dell. We are not just wrapping services around our partner's technology, but we are actually doing some very interesting work. Um, so, so ton of accolades. We participated in the IDC Emerging Marketscape. Uh, we, we, we were placed as a major player in the uh, words of the analyst, thousands of MSSPs narrowed down to less than 25, and Dell's got a place as a major player. So the program is really going well. Customers are definitely getting the value out of it, which is the mission is stop cyber threats. Uh, we are doing that. So a so ton of work going on. Um, and really, from a detection response perspective, you know, when you look at the whole life cycle of cybersecurity, right? the preventative part, policies, controls, then you get into detection response, which is continuously having 100% visibility on all assets. And then you have incident response in terms of recovery, and then ultimately your data protection recovery. Dell's can, Dell has technologies and services across that entire portfolio. Uh, but more importantly, detection response is super, super, super critical. Uh, the dwell time of malware has come down. The attackers want to come in. They want to hit you quick. They want to move quick. And detection response is that area, practice area, that helps us maintain full vigilance on our customers' assets, find what's going on, and then immediately react to it. So there's a lot of work going on. And I just want to give you an example, right? So in terms of uh, hundreds of examples, but this one is interesting. Uh, we, our SOC managing a customer, uh, we found a privilege escalation attack. What happened was the attacker got access to the customer's environment uh, through successful phishing, and they were able to elevate their access using stolen credential. Uh, our SOC team uh, detected 
the credential was used based on geolocation and other behaviors, and we were able to stop and eradicate that threat factor, right? So those are some of the examples our SOC team does practically every minute of the hour, 365 days. So lots of cool work going on. The one other data point I want to add to this discussion is when I talk to CISOs, there, there, there's a conundrum for a lot of CISOs. Do they, do they go down the best of breed path, as in they want technologies from every vendor possible, which is kind of where they are today. They have upwards of 30, 40 tools, or they go down the path of best of suite. So when you look at Microsoft, for example, amazing suite of products, right? Active Directory, Defender, Sentinel, Purview, Data Classification, tons of, tons of great technologies. When you look at CrowdStrike, their Falcon platform is becoming big. You can do EDR, you can do XDR, you can do next generation SIM, cloud security, identity. There's a lot going on there. When you look at another vendor like Tenable, that's really uh, got their grips on the exposure management side, they've evolved themselves from being a traditional well management vendor to more of an exposure management vendor. And they also offer cloud security. So what Dell can do is the ecosystem that we have put together. And I know at the outset, you mentioned Microsoft, CrowdStrike, and SecureWorks. We also have great partnerships with Zscaler, Okta, and Tenable, and Cobalt. So we have about 10, 10-ish vendors in our tool bag. And with those vendors, we can give customers not only the best of breed, but also best of suite. So kind of like a nice uh, middle ground on achieving both objectives. So I, I give you a lot to your question, but there's lots going on. Well, thank you for that. A couple of you know things I want to pick up on this. I'm intrigued by Arun, this consistent experience across the, what I call the estate. That means across clouds. That means on-prem. Uh, and this underscores the theme of our series here, which is around partnerships. I also was at CrowdStrike Falcon, uh, and it was good to see Satya Nadella you know, at the keynote, come on, talking to George Kurtz. It's an example of industry collaboration. Uh, obviously, the same true with the hyperscalers and what, what Dell is doing there. The other thing that, that stood out at, at Falcon was this discussion of dwell time and breakout time. It's almost like dwell time doesn't matter anymore because breakout time, i.e., the time it takes for an adversary to start laterally traversing you know, the, the network is now under 70 minutes. I think they said 63 minutes on average. I think the world record is under, under five minutes. And so in many respects, it's like how long they're in there doesn't matter if they're breaking out in that in that that fast range. And so and your point about best of breed, you know, versus best of suite, that's that's a term that's a phrase I hadn't heard. I like that term best of suite, because I think that is ultimately the answer to this question of trying to endlessly plugging holes with the new shiny tool. And I, and I don't mean that as a pejorative. There's a lot of innovation going on, a lot of new startups that are solving real problems. But to the extent that those problems can be solved as part of a suite, you're going to have a better experience back to that consistent experience across the clouds and across the, the estate. So, so that's great. You, you know, really strong s- sort of progress since we last talked. So what's new? Where, where do you go from here? Well, so if you look at our journey, I think we were really focused on providing this best of suite, best of breed to our customers, giving them choice. Um, it doesn't mean that when we have Microsoft and CrowdStrike and Secure, uh, SecureWorks, it's a binary decision for our customers. Believe it or not, majority of our customers are on Microsoft. They use MS365, they use Active uh, Directory, they use Azure. But they also love CrowdStrike for their EDR. We have had customers where uh, they have had EDR on the endpoint, but they love SecureWorks on the back end because SecureWorks is an amazing Swiss Army knife XDR. I would even argue it's one of the true XDRs out there. So, look, security is a team sport. Not one vendor can solve this problem. If we had solved this problem, we would not be hearing about server attacks, but that's not the case. So there's great technologies out there. Security is a team sport. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned Satya talking to George, right? That's super critical for our customers that vendors, security tooling vendors talk to each other and MSSPs like Dell can bring that story together for them. So, so one of the things we are doing now is now that we have MDR, we are securing hundreds of 
thousands of customers, endpoints. Uh, we are now moving to kind of phase two in our program, which is that integration side of it. We don't want to stop at wrapping our great services around great technology. We want to go a little further, in fact, a lot further. So towards that, we are doing a ton of integration work with our vendors, which is why these vendors are recognizing us and some of the awards have come through, mainly because of the integration work. And I want to use a real example for you. So we have now taken uh, our MDR technology with CrowdStrike, and we have worked very closely with our threat, threat intel team, our support teams, our IR team, Think about it. Backups are a choicey, juicy target for our hackers because if they're going to hold a customer ransom, they cannot allow a customer to restore data from backups. So backups has become a, a really uh, important target for the bad guys. So we have built some very unique detections, over 60 detections with our data protection technology, Power Protect Data Domain and Power Protect Data Manager. And we've integrated that with CrowdStrike, right? So uh, unique detections because we, as a vendor, we know certain te techniques and tactics that, that the bad guys may use. We have also worked with the amazing engineering team at CrowdStrike. We set up a lab. We brought them together. We have built unique parsers. That's the level of integration work Dell's interested to do because we want to solve that problem for our customers. If Dell didn't do this, Customers have great technology with CrowdStrike. They have great products, cloud, on-prem products, laptops, but the burden is on the customer to build these integration. So what we are now focusing on uh, probably in the next two years is build those deep integrations with our CSG and ISG technologies, right? With our laptops, with the chips underneath, right? It could be NVIDIA, it could be Intel, it could be AMD, getting that telemetry right from the BIOS level, from the hardware level, into the operating system, into the applications, and into these great XDR EDR products. So that's that's kind of where we are going. And that's a super exciting journey for us uh, because we want to accelerate that integration, especially when it comes to detection response. You brought up the notion of quick bell time, quick breakout time. The window of detecting threats is, is shrinking. And if we don't build these integrations, our customers will not have the ability to to detect these anomalies very quickly and take remediation action. Great, That's thank where you. We... Appreciate that. I want to I want to shift gears and talk about you know the topic du jour, which of course is AI. I mean, I'm interested in how AI, from your perspective and your partners, has impacted cybersecurity, and specifically, if I go back to before November 2022 with the introduction of, of ChatGPT. You obviously had AI being utilized largely as machine learning um, and other sort of mathematical techniques for cyber. It was actually one of the stronger use cases. But since the introduction of the, the AI herd around the world, I sometimes call it, what's changed broadly and, and how has the AI conversation in cybersecurity evolved in the past two years? No, great, great question, <laughs> Dave. You're right. We can't we cannot have this call without a discussion on AI. Look, from a Dell perspective, you've seen it at Dell Tech World. You've seen Michael Dell talk, Jeff Clark talk, right? We've been at the forefront of working with industry leaders such as NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD from a partnership standpoint with Microsoft, Copilot. So De Dell was really early on. We, we kind of went to market with our products and solutions, right? Um, and... When you look at it from a services standpoint, and we work very closely, my team, product management team, very, works very closely with vendors, with our CTO team, with our own Dell digital team. And, and Dell, as you again know, has identified hundreds of great use cases. And our own Dell digital security team is working on protecting Dell from the use of AI. So generally speaking, we kind of put AI in three buckets. The first one is, how do we protect the use of AI? And the second one is how do we protect against AI, which is bad actors leveraging AI to their advantage. Uh, and then the third area is how do we protect with AI? There are areas where we can actually leverage AI. A great example is uh, what Microsoft is doing at Copilot, how it's helping our SOC teams, what CrowdStrike is doing with Charlotte AI. So every vendor is, is bringing us their AI at work for us 
for us to be smarter, productivity, also some some other advantages. Now let's talk about the use of AI, right? So that's the one that's that we are really focusing on. What do I mean by that? If you look at a typical generative AI deployment, um, the bond for it, you have infrastructure in the bottom. You need infrastructure. Sure. You need data and applications that sit on it. And then you have the whole M, uh, LLM ecosystem, right? And when I say ecosystem, there's a really large ecosystem. You have LLMs here, anywhere from small to large. Dell Consulting, for example, is helping customers choose which is the right LLM for the use case. So you got to make decisions on LLM and and the ecosystem uh, that that the third party supply chain that exists today, and that is going to grow enormously. As you can hear, every startup out there is focusing on building some sort of purpose built LLM for a particular use case. So now the idea here is how do you secure that bill of materials? And we treat generative AI as any other workload, except it has some nuances. And the nuances are in the form of workflows. How are customers going to use that generative AI? And what we've been doing is understanding the bomb. We've been understanding risks, the ones such as being advertised in the OWASP top 10. We are also understanding interactions. How does a prompt engineer use an LLM? What does a training person use the LLM? How do they train it? How does RAG work? So we've been mapping all these different workflows, both upstream going into the LLM and downstream coming out of the LLM and what security controls need to happen. Uh, so we have really started mapping that. There are definitely some gaps in the industry today that we haven't solved yet. There's a lot of startups coming and filling some of those gaps. Uh, but there's really two answers here. One is the protection, which is the controls, which really requires to understand that workflow. And the second piece is detection and response. So we are working very actively with our, again, ecosystem partners, Zscaler, Okta, and CrowdStrike. There's some cutting edge technologies coming out of all these vendors, and we are at the forefront as an MSSP to bring these technologies and solutions to our customers. So a lot going on in the AI space. We are still learning, but we are learning together, and we're being proactive. Yeah, and, and interesting you talk about LLMs and S, S, SLM, small, small language models. We, we just dropped a piece on breaking analysis uh, from LLMs to SLMs and, and the emergence of what we call SAMs, small action models. Uh, we, we really do believe that this move toward agents and swarms of agents and multiple agents is, is a thing. Uh, and it's going to, when we talk, talk about this, you know, three, four, five, six months from now, Arun, that's going to be introducing new seams and new exposures that attackers are going to go after. So this, this is a never-ending challenge, and I uh, really appreciate your time and your efforts at Dell and the partners uh, to really make this uh, a safer, safer world. So thank you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Dave. Happy to have the opportunity to share what we're doing and, and our uh, customer stories. Okay, and for our audience, appreciate you watching this episode in our series series of exploring Dell's framework for security and its partnerships in cybersecurity. Stay tuned to the channel for more content on protecting your organization in the ever-changing world of cyber.